Hey, it's Chris here. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about story. I'm going to share five tips with you today to help you improve your storytelling. And it doesn't need to be in the grand scale of a cinematic piece or a documentary film. It could just be something as simple as a vlog like this one. Stories are really about conflict. Somebody wants something and they can't get it. If your character has a want but gets it right away, there is no conflict. It's the end of the story. Let's hear a reading of Romeo and Juliet and let's pay attention to the first six lines. Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Within the first six lines of this play, we understand that two families are at war with each other. They hate one another, but it just so happens that their children fall in love with each other. We now are really interested in finding out who are these people that fall in love. What happens next? Make sure that there's an obstacle or a challenge in the way of your character getting what they want. Tip number two comes from Robert McKee who wrote the book Story. And what he talks about is conflict can be explained in this way. Characters have a subjective expectation and when that expectation meets cold hard reality, what we call objective reality, that's where the friction comes in. Set those two parts up. Neil wants to find the truth. He wants to know what the matrix is. In his mind, the truth is a simple explanation about what the matrix is. It's an underground movement, it's a, it's a club, it's an organization, it's a conspiracy by the government. That's his subjective expectation. And the reality is humans are harvested for energy and they're slaves to the robots, the machines. And that is the objective reality. Your subjective opinionated expectations and when they meet cold, harsh reality. Like getting a job should be easy, but it's not. Uh, winning a client should be easy, but it's not. Tip number three comes from Kendra Hall. She's a storytelling consultant. So story, as you know, has a beginning, middle, and ending. But that's not really helpful to anybody in any real way. So she talks about it in this very simple structure, and I love it. There's the normal, an explosion, and then the new normal. The normal is what we do to set the scene. What's happening? You include details. You include the emotions. The explosion is the thing that disrupts the normal. She was riding in a car and, her, and the car crashed and her parents died. That is obviously an explosion in every sense of the meaning. Now the new normal is the progress report. We're now gonna tell you how the new reality exists. The normal, the explosion, the new normal. The greatest marketer, Steve Jobs, when he introduced the iPhone for the very first time, he talked about how smartphones aren't very smart. So he's describing the normal as We've been let down by the promise of a smartphone. The explosion is going to be this wonderful, beautiful device called the iPhone, and it's gonna change the way you communicate. It's gonna change the way you surf the internet. It's a computer in your pocket in the way you've never had it before. That's the explosion. That's how you tell a great story. Tip number four comes from writer Francis Glebaugh, and he wrote the book, Directing the Story. It's a book on storyboarding for artists. He says the secret to storytelling is story delaying, to drag out the conclusion of the story for as long as possible while giving your audience meaningful details, asking dramatic questions. Will the character live? Will the king forgive his son? Uh, will the character forgive themselves? So the secret to storytelling is story delaying and it has everything to do with conflict. What you wanna do is there's the character and then there's an obstacle. So that's getting in the way of them getting what they want. So you, what you wanna do is drag that out. A murder mystery who done it. If you tell the audience at the very beginning who, who committed the crime, that there's no more point of watching the film for its conclusion. We are hardwired as human beings to fall in love with stories. And that's because as humans, we want to learn the lessons without actually having to suffer ourselves. And so when the character learns something and when they grow and they change, when they learn how to love themselves, when they learn how to forgive others, the explosion and the new normal, that's what we use to learn. So we watch them, we're kind of living vicariously through them. Tip number five. 
Make your story dramatic. If your story is boring, nobody cares. The way you make your story dramatic is you exaggerate things. Think of your story and the moments that your characters are facing as life and death situations, even though they're not. If he misses the bus, his life is over in his world. Literally, it's not over, but exaggerate. A way to look at this is also look at uh, how kids behave, where if they have a bad haircut or something like that, they feel like their life is going to end, that everybody will hate them. If approaching a stranger and asking them to buy uh, a magazine subscription is so fearful, it feels like they're gonna be murdered or killed. That's how it feels like on, on the inside. So when you are able to tap into that raw emotion, you can have a really dramatic and interesting story. Let's put it all together and I'm gonna direct this mostly at some of you guys who are doing vlogs. The next time you have an event that's coming up, it could be a, a new business meeting, new client presentation, uh, you're, you're hiring a new employer, interviewing for a new job. The way you should record your vlog is this. Talk about your expectations and talk about it in dramatic ways. Tell the audience what your hopes and fears are of this particular event. For example, I have a new client meeting. So what I wanna do is record before the meeting. I have a new client meeting today. We're in the action sports market and that's something that speaks to me because I grew up skateboarding and I think it's gonna go really well. The explosion is the meeting. That's the actual nuts and bolts of the meeting. The new normal is how you reflect on what happened. It could be, you know what? The meeting didn't go as I planned. Uh, I should have prepared a little bit more. I should have rehearsed. I, I'm not feeling great about this particular outcome. Transition then to lessons that you learned. To say, now I know next time I have to prepare and I will work out these kinks and I should rehearse and I should get feedback from other people that I trust before going to these very important client meetings. That's all I have for you. If you like these storytelling tips, I'll do more of them. Comment below. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Like this video if you like it and don't forget, subscribe. See you guys later.